Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Blue Chat. Um, being joined today by Justin Templer and uh, Kevin Logan, and of course, uh, my co-pilot for this episode, uh, Chocolate Thunder himself, the president of the Savage Republic of Beachistan, <laughs> Hey, Beach. Hey, what's going on, guys? And uh, yeah, so we've got a, a little bit of, uh, I guess this this episode is brought to you by uh, technical difficulties from yesterday. We couldn't get everybody all connected at the same time and, and able to uh, to talk it out, but we've worked through all that for today, and uh, Kevin's got, got more time. He also had, you know, we were also limited because Kevin has to remain gainfully employed in, in this imperfect world where yeah. we, yeah, we, basically. Must, we must work for our money. Yeah. Uh, uh, so yeah, like but we're we're here now. We've got more time. We've got everybody connected, and uh, just to give a top-down view of things. Um, actually, before I go into that, uh, I set up another, just a little bit of a shameless plug. If you look in the the comments for this video, uh, I've set up another backup channel, just in case someone flags this channel being the backup channel to the main blue chat channel. The backup of uh, the backup of the backup. Oh, back fuck up. the internet, man. Jesus Christ. The uh, yeah, well, yeah. It, it's, it, it never hurts to be prepared. So yeah. if anybody who's watching this would like to uh, go ahead and, and take a look at that, that second link that I... For, well, the first link there, but it's the second line of text. And, yeah, and subscribe to that backup channel. Quickly, because it will be flagged down in about a week, I reckon. Not without like any real another. content on it, that's for shit sure. Uh, but yeah, if you want to go ahead and follow that, uh, in addition to following mm -hmm. us on Twitter, I have every, I'm going to have everybody's Twitter links attached to the, the this comment section before it's out. I'm ju I'm just missing Justin's right now, but I'm going to add him. Uh, so yeah, follow, go ahead and follow everybody on Twitter. It's how you know we're going to be bitching at each other again in the near future. Uh, and so yeah, the just to give it a top down uh, view of of the story so far, uh, there's been talk of of uh, Justin being involved in, in doxing and Kevin being involved in doxing and, and people hacking accounts and just craziness happening all over the place. There are complaints from, from my understanding is there are complaints on both sides of the aisle to be directed at the other individual. So uh, having said that, I'm now going to shut up and uh, I guess throw the floor to, I'm going to give it to Justin first because uh, he is, he's our, uh, he's our, <laughs> our, our latest addition and uh, Kevin is, of course, our returning champion. Uh, so we, we, we're going to we're going to give the scrappy underdog first licks at this one. Go ahead. Yeah, this this is my uh, first uh, public uh, appearance, I guess, and I've been kind of staying in the background. And there's been a lot of, for better for better word, bullshit spread a narrative that's built on a bunch of lies, and. It was brought up last week, even when they were asking Kevin about what was in his Docs Palooza video, if he'd actually looked at them, and he really doesn't seem to understand what, what it actually contains. And there is seven people that were in that Docs Palooza video that he accused of doxing people, and not a single one of those people doxed anybody, if you actually read the screen caps. So what I, I call Kevin a useful idiot because he's just repeating a narrative that is not true. You actually, if you dig into the details and find out what happened, things are taken out of context. You something happened, and you're watching the reaction to something else. And the narrative being sold is just the reactions, and that's being passed off as doxing and hacking and all this other crap. Justin, um, that diatribe could have been wrought from the deepest, darkest depths of um, the North Korean Truth Ministry. That was poop on a stick. Oh, well, that's what you're going to you know say. Well, you know full well that a uh, you, uh, you almost your defining characteristic here on the internet is that of a doxer and a stalker and just a generally creepy fucking dude. Right. You know, well, you know full well that uh, Agent of Doubt has put people's information onto the internet uh, before, uh, has doxxed the will today, has doxxed um, uh, Jenna McDermott most recently via your own screen cap, um, has put information on, on uh, Baphomet or Kiwi Farms, I forget which. Um, you know that Wooly Bumblebee has been involved in uh, um, 
in, in, in certainly in egging you on, if not necessarily supporting you. And I get look, I, I thank her for her support in my flagging uh, thing. Uh, that was that was um, appreciated. But she's been involved in some nefarious antics herself, um, and that you have gone around trying to spread people's information to all of these people to try and get them to uh, engage with you in doxing. So don't talk nonsense about nobody having ducked. That is a fucking lie. Kevin, that's a bunch of lies. Is that literally all you have to say? No, I have lots to say. Go um, for it, John. You know, you know, this yesterday you made Agent of Dan out to be this evil person for revealing Jenny's address, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you go back to your Docs Palooza video, you shared a private message from the hacked account of Pony Boy's address. You did the exact same thing to Pony Boy that Agent of Doubt did to Jenny. And well, you was, made, well, and you, now, to... listen, you made a big deal about this, and you did this a month ago. Two no, I tried ago. to censor all private information in that. Now, Which I you did. Because that was flagged down, I can't defend myself on this because that video no longer exists. If oh. you can find a mirror of it for me, that would be brilliant. Because I don't believe that I did do that. I tried to censor it out by putting the word ducks over all sensitive information about uh, no. everyone involved in that. Let me see here. Da, 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 da. Yeah, just to yeah, fill a little bit of talking a... time. I mean, I, yeah, I don't. I think that the 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 excuse that the video was flagged down, therefore, it you know, no harm, no foul. That doesn't really follow. No, no, I wasn't saying. No, I, I'm saying because it was flagged down, I can't defend it because I don't. I, I can't. I don't have a copy of it. Why um, don't you? But I. What do you mean? Why don't I? I don't save every little shitty video I do. I only save my main series on like a memory pen. Um, but I, I know full well that I sat and went through each screen cap and put the word ducks on top of actually sensitive information. So, so you don't have the screen caps? It, that was a mistake. You don't have the, the screen caps that you, you use to produce the video? I mean, I, I'm not familiar yeah, with but, the... Well, I, have the, like, I know you've been, doing, you did, you've been using the Hangout feature to, to do videos lately. And that's fine. You know, and I, I could understand why that would be a reason why you wouldn't have a copy of it on your hard drive, no, no, no. for I, example. I have, a, I have a copy of the screen caps, but what but, I did for that video was I censored each screen cap that had sensitive information, and I put the word ducks over the top of the actually sensitive information. But, but I don't have a copy of that. I don't have a copy of the, the, the sequence for that video, if that makes okay. sense. All right. I could, I'll have to dig this up. And show. Yeah, if you've got a copy of that, could you send that to me, please, uh, Justin? Because uh, I don't, I genuinely don't have a uh, a copy of that video. That video, as far as I'm aware, has disappeared into the ether. Rather sadly, because I think actually it shows precisely what I mean by um, you and your cadre of uh, abductors doing their thing. Uh -huh. And yeah, maybe maybe I shouldn't have added in um, one or two other people. I think I think Aldous Valor tried, albeit rather. Um, uh, side-handedly in the sense that he said he didn't care whether Jenny got fucked over or not, but he wasn't going to get involved in it himself, um, which shows a, a, a certain moral um, uh, decency, but also a kind of shittiness as well. Um, but So maybe I shouldn't have added that in there, but basically I put in the what um, Laughing Witch, by the way, we'll get back to her in a moment, uh, Laughing Witch is um, Duck's video, and I just put that in, but with the information censored. Dum, 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 dum. I'm looking for something. Sure. But uh, Justin, whilst whilst you're looking for that, I think it's it's worth asking the question: What is your motivation in all this? Because you have set yourself, like I say, it's almost your defining characteristic in terms of your internet activities that you uh, harass people. Like the screen caps themselves show that you have all this information about her ex-boyfriend's house and her home information, and you're spreading this around. Why? What gives you the fucking right to do this? Kevin, that's, and that's the, the basic lie that you guys like to tell about me. Um, on the 22nd of October was when the initial, when Jenny left her five-star fake review on Laughing Witches Yell page. And people... Yeah, hang on, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, hold that on, was to balance out the... The no. hundreds and hundreds that that um, hold on a second, Kevin. Just like, let, 
Kevin, if you if you would just please let Justin you know finish his thought, and then if if you have to take notes or you know make a mental note or whatever, but let respond after he said what he has to say. Otherwise, it's going to take forever. And what what happened after this was people started digging into her and uncovering her old Yelp reviews. I can even show you screen caps of people discussing it on the internet and Jenny interacting with them, telling them to stop this shit because she's being docked, it's revealing personal information, and I'm not even involved in that conversation. This happened, that was about the 25th, I could show you that, and on the 29th, me and Agent of Doubt contacted Jenny privately to warn her to take precautions. These, that was a private chat. There was no doxing. We were warning her to take precautions because we saw what was going on, and she turned around and accused us of doxing her. None of this was done publicly. It was a private warning. Okay, right. Firstly, um, as I was trying to say, um, her putting a, a fake five-star review on... Um, Laughing Witch's um, Yelp page. That was to, at least in some way, try to counteract the fucking hundreds and hundreds, and indeed it ended up being thousands, uh, sent by uh, Thunderfoot against her. The economic sabotage for which I believe he should be in jail. But that's uh, by the by. Um, in terms of your ducting, I don't, I don't really care that you claim you've given a warning to her or anything like that. You have been spreading her information around. You have, um, in the video that which has now been flagged down as well by Agent of Doubt, uh, you clearly have a number of pieces of very sensitive information about her which you are spreading to Agent of Doubt in the hopes of getting him to reveal that information, which he then subsequently did do. You're a doxer. He's a doxer. You're both scumbags. No, Kevin. There was no doxing involved. And I like how you like to blame Thunderfoot every time this is all Thunderfoot's fault and Thunderfoot's people are doing this. And the, the warning went to Jenny, and it wasn't that, to spread it around, hoping he was going to dox. I sent Jenny's information to two people, privately. One was Agent of Doubt, and the other one was Thunderfoot. And the reason for the Thunderfoot was because of the crap Jenny was pulling. For example, that cocaine video accusing him of being a drug dealer and his sexual exploits. And that was a channel. That was a video that you yourself mirrored on your channel and removed because you knew it would have gotten flagged, and it did yeah, on because, Jenny's. Because she Jenny's got, video was flagged. Yeah. She got a strike for it, but you yeah, did. you didn't think anything about that. You have no problem accusing people of doing stuff, and he's taking you know, okay. I think that's pretty fucking up. Yeah, yeah. Accusing him of being a drug dealer is taking him to account. And blaming, no, and, and, blaming, and blaming his followers, his, his some. I blamed random. his followers for leaving fake reviews on her um, Yelp page, which they did, which he explicitly showed them how to do, and give a wink, wink. Oh, I wonder what would happen, which is basically his order to them to go and do this. His, his, and his order in their thousands. You you think people are just mindless drones and they don't do this stuff on their own and there aren't trolls on the internet that look for, well, it wasn't for drama? Well why why was it why was it that they decided to do it immediately after he's he did that video well, and they easy. haven't been doing it subsequently. He's got what four hundred thousand uh, yeah. followers so what you you've got a hundred people out of it decide two hundred people out of that four hundred thousand? He, no, he, do doesn't care. he doesn't care about the small numbers. It could be 100,000, it could be 100. He doesn't well, care. He well, knows he... that a number of them out there, when he put that information on the, on, in his video, uh, that they were going to go and do this. Now, it's not a matter of them taking direct orders or anything like that. It's about him being an irresponsible, economically, economic saboteur. That's what he did. No, no, you're putting the blame on him for actions what other people did. You think that he can tell people to stop it? You know, you know what the Streisand effect is? You tell people not to do something and they do it even more? Yeah, but he could have just not made the video in the first place or not put that piece of information in there. What, what piece of information? What, what did Thunder... The, this is her Yelp page. This is her address. Oh, I would wonder what would happen if, if loads of people left fake reviews there. No, he didn't say that. Wonder if people left fake reviews on there. Now you're accusing him of doing something he didn't do. He did, yes, he fucking did do that. Well, you'll have to prove that. 
See, that's what you do. You sit there and you accuse people. I'd like to see some evidence of you saying that we should people should go leave fake reviews. It's on the fucking video. It's on the yeah. video, mate. What are you talking about? Well, go, go, leave, go, go leave fake reviews. What the way? Is... Find, find a timestamp for me. Show us. I'll find a timestamp and I'll shove it up your fucking ass, mate. Okay. You're a liar. You're so full of shit, mate. No, you're making the accusation, then you got to back up that accusation. Well, be before we go off into the reeds of the weeds about, um, you know, wh what what's what timestamp is it? Who said what? Uh, let's just say, for sake of argument, he he did say, "I wonder what would happen." Again, that, that takes us back to the point of people have their own agency. People could, people would do what they what they're going to do or what they will to do because that's what they want to do. Thunder Thunderfoot doesn't have any like. Control over people; they're not enthralled by his. No, I'm not saying he's his directing video. directly it's under his orders. That way. I'm Direct. not saying he's directing directly under his orders. What I'm saying is that he purposefully led people there, knowing that loads of them would go and do this. Okay, we we all know. Don't don't buy into this fucking bullshit. That oh, they're all oh, they're all independently minded. Trust me, anyone who's made a video to Thunderfoot and had a reaction from his followers. I call them the fundamentalists because they're thunder Christ fundamentalists, right? They they act like it, it, there is Jesus. They they protect him. They follow him. They don't directly follow his orders, but they're more than happy to go and fulfil his, you know, fucking economic saboteur desires. And that's precisely what they did there. See again, the I, that, I don't the know Justin, the fact that Justin sent Jenny's information to Thunderfoot, knowing that this is what he was going to do with shit, is disgusting. Again, I'll, I'll ask the question to Justin that I asked of um, uh, Agent of Doubt yesterday. Do you care if the information you provide to these people that gets out there, uh, do you care if it's used to rape or murder Jenny McDermott? Do I care? I don't have any control over these people, Kevin. I'm not... I'm well, not my, 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 my feelings... Do you care if it happens? My feelings have got nothing to do with it. Well done on being the most pathetic politician answer ever. That was ridiculous. Well, my I feelings got nothing to do with it. I have well, no control over that. You know. No, you I'm not saying you have any control over it. I'm saying, as a human being, you have feelings and emotions and all the rest of it. What would your emotional reaction be to her being raped and murdered? Kevin, when that happens, then I'll let you know. You're trying. You're asking me what my reaction is going to be before it happens, so I don't know what would happen. But you're talking about this stuff. You're putting everything on Thunderfoot, but yet it wasn't. I'm not it? putting everything no, on him. I'm no, putting no, the no, fake on. reviews on him. Let, let, let me get backtrack this to uh, remember uh, Thunderfoot's dad having cancer and Jenny making fun and Bill Boulder Dave. And you you don't you think that that Thunderfoot really cares about what about how people react? I mean. Thunderfoot has been attacked by Jenny. Jenny Jenny is putting her finger in a hornet's nest with 400,000 subscribers, and then she's trying to put this back on Thunderfoot. So he's supposed to have some kind of control over his followers and how they're going to react. I, I think you also touched on an interesting point that, you know, it, while, we're, while Kevin is posing a hypothetical to you about what would happen if Jenny McDermott were to be raped and murdered, how, what would your feelings on that? Well, there was an actual situation where Thunderfoot's father genuinely did have cancer, and he made that known, and Jenny's reaction was uh, flippant, to put it mildly. I, well, it, I, I can't speak for her, but um, I've been well, accused... Speak for yourself, then. I mean, like, what... Yeah, well, I've been accused of the same... Thing, okay, um, because we made similar-ish videos, and we've both been accused of mocking a man for his dying father. Neither of which I think is true. Certainly in my case, and I believe in Jenny's case as well. We are using precisely the same tactics that Thunderfoot uses in situations where people have been through uh, hardship. Like he's mocked people who've been going through fucking mental breakdowns and stuff. He's been he's mocked people over their ending of relationships and all the rest of it. We were using those tactics against him in a moment of his vulnerability to show how disgusting his tactics are. It's essentially a kind of... Um, it's a kind of two quo quay fallacy, it sounds like. It, it's, no, it's, no, you it's, you it's, did it so uh, I can do it. Wrong, but the problem yeah. is that two, two wrongs don't make a right. Or put it another no, no, way, uh, to, to, you, to use yet another, another metaphor for it, you know, an eye for an eye leaves everybody half blind. 
right? No, no, I'm not. I'm not say. I'm not actually mucking him. I'm using his tactics against him to hopefully show him and his followers that they shouldn't be doing that. Well, I wasn't actually, actually mucking him. him. I, I wasn't I, actually I, mucking him. I wasn't yes, saying. You were. <laughs> I wasn't I, I'm not. Saying, I, I'm not sure how you can say you're not actually mocking him because it actually looks like you are mocking him. And also, he took that out of fucking context because there was a massive piece that the bit where he says, um, "Oh, they're coming after me uh, about his father." Right? That was the end of a longer sequence in which he plays the victim. I'm showing him playing the victim, which is what he accuses a lot of other people of doing all the fucking time. Kevin, he wasn't playing a victim. His father was dying. Yeah, but he wasn't going on about his father dying. He was going on about other people mentioning his father dying, even though he mentioned it. I, I think that was in addition to the videos he made where he was describing the situation of his father dying and how yeah, no, it's exactly impacting right. him. He mentioned his father dying. Other people mentioned his father dying. He then went, oh, they're coming after me because my father's dying. They did. He didn't even have to make it public. No, How, how would we even have known? He loves playing the big. That's the, the for yeah, a person yeah. who constantly goes on about other people being thin-skinned. He's the most thin-skinned person that I've ever met. Ridiculous. No, when, when anyway, he, when, this isn't even about Thunderfoot. Why have we gotten onto Thunderfoot? Fuck Thunderfoot. This has nothing to do with him. Yeah, it has a lot to do with it because you're blaming his followers for this. You're saying these are thunder drones. They're 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 going after. Well, that's why they did go after her. They well, need to no, no, you're, no you're, you're blaming it on, you're putting this on Thunder, on, on Thunder instead of putting it on the individuals that are doing it. Who are his subscribers? You, you, right. Led so, there by so, his video. so what? So what? Oh, what? So what then? Yeah, so fucking what? So what? So what that you and fucking uh, Agent of Doubt have been releasing Jenny's information? If someone goes and rapes and murders based on that information, that's not that's nothing to do with but, you, is but it? But we, we haven't been releasing her information. We've just seen the fucking video. It was flagged yeah. down the other day. You, yeah, yes, you yes. sent her, you sent private information about her to uh, Agent of Doubt, and Agent of Doubt released that. Right. This is private information that was shared privately. It was not doxed. The only reason this was well, the, only, the, the only reason it was released was because of Jenny was lying about Agent of Doubt and. And he couldn't have redacted he, that. Well, you didn't redact Pony Boy's address. Yes, I fucking did. Uh-huh. Well, you, as, you, as far as I'm aware, to, if you can I, show me otherwise, I will happily admit to being wrong about that. Yeah, I'd, I'd I encourage attempted, you to find that screenshot. I, 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 attempted, I attempted to put ducks over every single piece of sensitive information, including his, like, his police fucking arrest record and all the rest of it. Because there were lots of pieces of Pony Boy's private information in there. Well, I think Justin has a point when he says that um, that this information was was private. It wasn't put out in the public sphere until uh, Justin, uh, you know, uh, uh, allegedly Justin's account was hacked. That this information was passed along to various parties, including yourself, uh, who well, were concerned that, about this, and that this this was redistributed by by Jenny, by you, by people in in that sphere on YouTube, and and that information was. As far as you know, uh, Agent of Doubt and Justin were concerned, that was a private communication that was never intended to be distributed on 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 the internet. And to say that you know they are the cause of that information being distributed, when you in fact and and people who uh, whose very videos you mirrored, I believe, uh, were were the ones who were putting that information out on the internet. I think that seems a little specifically disingenuous. Um, I I don't agree with the way in which Life in Witch put that information out uncensored. That's why I censored it. Okay. Um, and I think that is, uh, albeit I don't think she was doing it maliciously, but it's still it is unfortunate. <laughs> um, well I don't well no because for instance uh, John Horse the the, uh, the his internet name the Pony Boy is hmm. is not quite an ally or such, but he's like. I get on with him well. I've mirrored a couple of his videos. I think Laughing Witch gets on with him relatively well. So it's not a matter of her wanting to hurt Pony Boy. I think it was just she's not she doesn't make many videos and she doesn't have much time to make videos. So she that's what she did there. Okay, I'm not. But I'm not gonna. I'm not actually even gonna try and defend that. Duxing is fucked up. Whatever happens, but we know that Justin um, has been involved in Duxing a fucking million times. That's no. That's no, you, no, you don't know that. Yes, I do know that. And also, yeah. can I just can I just bring up? I was sent 
uh, clips of you. You rang up um, Laughing Witch, didn't you? Nope, I didn't. You know, and that's another thing that uh, that Margaret Pless story, where she linked to a voicemail of supposedly me calling somebody. I have never called anybody on the internet. Never, ever. That she put, she took some random person calling up about a receipt, and then said that that was me. This is the first time that anybody has heard my voice publicly on the internet. Sounds a lot like you, I have to say. Well, you'll have to compare it, but it's not me. And that phone okay. call, that phone call from Pless was talking about a receipt. What was a re what would a receipt have to do with any of all this? I I even don't, even, if, even I don't, if it was me. Well, given, it doesn't. Given your creepiness, mate, I, I don't no. know what the fuck you're talking no. about, and I wouldn't put it anything past you. Right. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, I don't. That's just it. I've never been online publicly. I st the first person that has heard me in this whole circle was exiled about a month ago. I started talking to her. I don't know. Voice voice wise, about beginning of January, middle of December. I don't remember when it was. Also, I'd be interested to see if you do have a copy of the uh, my f uh, flagged video because it does show uh, you actually conspiring. Whether it's even if it's cherry picked, some of the actual individual screenshots show examples of you saying that you want to go after certain people, yeah. and other people encouraging you to do so. And Kevin, you know you know what the reason for for that digging for information is. Do you even have a clue? Go for it, chap. Enlighten me. December. De December 1st. Sorry, my phone's so, being... So, I'll wait for your phone call. Yeah, you, you, might wanna, you might wanna mute yourself so that whoever's leaving your voicemail doesn't... No, it's it's done now. It's, yeah, okay, cool. good. Okay, December 1st. Pony Boy and Jenny McDermott. Both were in the process. They were trolling me and they were harassing me trying to find out who I was. There's a whole thing. They found three Justin Templars because they had found that I was posting in an Elgin group up in Illinois. So they were in the process of digging through and trying to identify who I was. They were trying to dox me. They found three Justin Templars and that you can see them taunting me. I've archived everything in case anything gets deleted. And it was that, and they actually publicly stated that because I was looking for information, Looking for information equals doxing, and because I'm looking for information, they were going to dox me. Why would you be looking for information if you weren't going to dox them? Why wouldn't I? Because no, I want. Why would you? What What other reason would you have for looking for their private information if you weren't going to dox them? Were you sending them a bouquet of flowers, perhaps? No, I want to know who, what, who. When these stories, when people are being attacked, like Agent of Doubt or Thunderfoot, I want to know who's telling the truth. And why would you need someone's home address for that? I didn't need their home address. That home address so didn't. You looking for it? I wasn't looking for her home address. That Bad came up. That it. It. listen. Stumble upon it. This came up after her Yelp reviews, and everybody else was looking for her home address. Did you look for all the fake, the uh, fake negative reviews? Did you find public information about all of those people? Well, why would I? Just as heinous. I, I left my that's own... The problem. If it's leaving fake Yelp reviews, there are thousands you need to go after, aren't there? No, Kevin. The whole reason was you guys... I'm going to say you guys, but uh, the whole la people defending Laughing Witch, their justification for this was that people were leaving fake Yelp reviews. But yet we have, before any of this drama even started, we had Laughing Witch herself leaving her own fake reviews on her own business. Yeah, which is a practice that a lot of people engage in. And it's right. just, it's we, not, it's, it's we dishonest. call that chilling. Yes, it's, exactly. It's dishonest, exactly. Yes. Exactly. Now, exactly. So you're yeah. going to go after all those other businesses that do that? No. It you, seems like a Kevin, pretty common practice. Yes, yeah, it's common practice, right. So it's okay when other people do it, but when Laughing Witch does it to her own business, when Jenny does it, you just keep your mouth shut. And you no, say, hey, look I, at everybody I, I else doing it. Those are the businesses, and neither are you. Why is it you've zeroed in on 
Uh, Jenny McDermott for leaving a fake review when there are thousands of others doing so in the reverse. Why have you focused in on uh, Laughing Witch doing that to her company when, again, there are potentially fucking millions of others doing that um, on those sorts of websites? Why is it that you focused in on those two people? I focused in on those two people because they targeted Thunderfoot, and I don't like people being attacked in public that I value. I defend people that get so attacked. So you you're, you're defending... Dare I say a leader? No, not a leader. Somebody that I respect. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't defend your friends, Kevin. Do you defend? Well, what, your what is your friend? You know him, do you? Kevin. It's just some prick on the internet, mate. Yeah, and so is James. Well, well, he doesn't say that he has to be his friend in order to be, you know, worthy of being defended or of his. No, defense. but he called him his friend. He said, "Do you no, not?" No, he he friends. said. Actually, he said, "Do you defend your friends, Kevin?" Because yeah, implying, he implying out, that Thunderfoot is his friend. No, don't play I'm, fucking I'm, semantic I'm, games, me, Grant. Actually, he's implying that you are defending people that you find, you know, worthy of your defense. Yeah, friends. So he's implying that Thunderfoot falls into that camp for him. Not well, necessarily I, friends, I but I mean, there are, I don't think that's a massive stretch. Well, right? here, hang on a second. Just before you said Ponyboy isn't your friend, you just get along well with him, and you're putting his videos on your channel, and you're you know willing yeah. to step up for him, so... Well, no, I actually, I probably would consider him a friend. He's not quite an ally, but he's well, a friend. Well, what about Jenny? Is she your friend? Yes. Have you ever met her? In public. In pretty yeah, person, yeah, no. yeah. How much do you really know about her? You just know her online person, her online persona. You don't actually well, know anything about her. You've talked to her a great deal. Is the point? Right, and you defend her. Yeah. Okay. Right. So whether or not you consider somebody a friend, not not to you know again get lost on this one, whether or not you consider somebody a friend, if you feel that you <laughs> somebody is is meritorious enough to deserve your defense, I I I would go and and you know step up for that person. I'm sure Kevin would, and Justin would as well. Like, we're all guilty of this. Would you, but would you, Grey Knight, would you find public inf uh, private information about someone, say their home address, and spread that around on the internet? If someone crossed a line in, in attacking somebody else, yes, I would. Oh, right, so Jenny McDermott. Did Jenny McDermott say, I didn't go I, Is that crossing the line? Think the, I think the line is, is much... Much shorter than murder. I know, but that's that's mur point. Murder certainly does cross Do that threshold, but it's that's yeah, absolutely right. right. But I'm right. suggesting, what is it that she did that was so terrible that you think you need to, that not you, Grey Knight, that Justin or Agent of Doubt feels it's okay to potentially put her life in risk? I I think the reason why people and it wasn't Thunderfoot who dropped her docs, it wasn't Agent of Doubt who dropped her docs, it wasn't Justin Templer who dropped their docs, because all of this was happening on various channels on the internet, including, you know, Baphomet on, on 8chan. So uh, basically, you, well, actually, in that instance, you can't, no, in that instance, you can't say that it wasn't any of these people, because people post on that largely anonymously. Right? I, I have, no reason, to, well have, I have no reason to believe that it is any of those people, but for okay. the reason that I suspect what has been stated as the cause for why this was pursued by these, as you've described them, anonymous persons, is because people like Laughing Witch, people like Jenny, people like Bewildered Ape use their position of anonymity and Thunderfoot's lack of anonymity to their advantage. They went after him personally. They sent letters to his employer. They sent letters to the local police. They sent letters to the local media. I, for all I know, they were contacting his neighbors and saying that he's some sort of white nationalist, rapist, Apologist, like there's some. The, he's the, a rape apologist. There's no, I'm, he's not a Nazi, but he is a rape apologist. There's no. That's there. that's a very sketchy term, uh, especially as I, as it's like, been used against me, uh, for, you know, by, by people who used to be on this very hangout. But let's not make this about me. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that that's a sketchy term. I think that anybody would agree that the procession of charges that were leveled against Thunderfoot. Uh, were <laughs> almost entirely bogus. Sure, we could have a discussion, although we're not going to today, about whether or not rape apologist applies to Thunderfoot. Regardless, everything that was put forward in, in that and the manner in which it was approached by going to these people, taking advantage of the fact that Thunderfoot is a, you know, a semi-public personality, I, that I think that is what invoked people's sense of ire, that they wanted to level the playing field by making sure that these people that were making it known that they were going after him in this way 
could be struck back in a, in in like fashion. What's good? What's sauce for the goose is sauce for the gander, right? If you say like fashion, no damage was done at all to Thunderbolt by his own admission. Not not for lack of trying. But you, absolutely, absolutely, right. yes. I've so conceded what, that point. It, but the point being, you say in like, right? No damage was done to him. He waits ten months until private information becomes available to him. By which means we don't know. Cuff, cuff, Justin. But yeah, yeah, he then releases that now. information. He then releases that information to the internet to his four hundred thousand subscribers, knowing full well that many of them would follow his, um, let's say, instructions rather than orders. Okay, follow his path of breadcrumbs that he leaves for them, right? To try and take down her business and put a dozen innocent people on the unemployment lines, right? And that hardly seems to me like a fair reaction. That seems like not just a sledgehammer to crack a nut, but a fucking industrial piston to crack a nut. <laughs> right, so here's what I, I'd have to say about that. Um, there is no evidence at all that this has done any financial damage to Laughing Witch's business at all. No, a actually, conversely, it, bizarrely enough, because of the uh, they were able to get the press to... Um, highlight this, the local press to highlight this uh, story, they actually ended up gaining some business. But again, not for the lack of trying on Thunderfoot's part. Right, so what you're saying is is now that, you know, be, by whatever standard you were saying, no harm against Thunderfoot because he admitted that yeah, there's they no came, measurable damage. They came so what's very, the difference? The Laughing Witch didn't under. put out a video saying they came no very close to going under, under. That, that company, okay? Yeah. The reason why they were apparently going under is, which as documented by Agent of Doubt, was that they had a bankruptcy filing against them in court that had nothing to do with anything that, you know, a bunch of yeah, Yelp reviews were actually, produced. Actually, no, Grey Knight, Grey Knight if, I can, if I can stop you. They sure. were able to handle that debt previously on the basis that they were, the company was still viable and ongoing. But as soon as all of these fake Yelp reviews started coming up, the business dried up very quickly until they were able to then get uh, the local press to run a story on the uh, nightly news there saying X, Y, and Z, you know, this telling the, the story and all the rest of it. Uh, and, and, yeah, and, yeah, it did show them in a very sympathetic light, it has to be said. But even so, that, that then the business then started to flow in because they weren't just relying on the Yelp page, which had been all but completely fucking destroyed. It, they'd gone from like a four and a half star rating down to like a half a star or something ridiculous in you know in two days. So, um, but they were getting calls from people who'd seen it on the news and all the rest of it, and that's what that's what kept that business going. It wasn't just that they were in debt. Yeah, they were in debt, and it was because of medical bills <laughs> um, uh, incurred by um, uh, Laughing Witch's husband who had apparently been very ill, uh, but the business was still viable and they were ongoing and able to deal with that debt until Thunderfoot, um, Thunderfoot intervened, let's say, and Why they, they were they? able to get the, uh, the press uh, in. Uh, okay. Okay, now hold so, on a second. This, this is a whole fucking concocted story about Laughing Witch's business. If you actually go back and look what happened, the, reason, the, the, the point that Laughing Witch's business started going downhill was the recession of 2008 when the housing market dropped out and all those loans dried up their business dried up and it's been they've mentioned this in I don't there's so much crap out there but they've actually said that their business has gone downhill since 2008 this had nothing to do with Thunderfoot well no there's a difference between going downhill and going out of business yes business had been slower than it had previously been but that doesn't mean that the business was still viable until the work completely dried up because no, of Thunderfoot. No, no, it didn't. It didn't dry up because of Thunderfoot, though. You don't know that. You're just Actually, having, I didn't know that. You're just repeating the story that that laughing witches fed you. You haven't verified anything. This if, is if you want to that, make that me, case, guys. You want me to reveal the fucking personal financial information of this right, private right, company? Right, right, right. Now you're making a story and you're saying I can't reveal the information that backs up my story. You're, you're accusing, you're putting the blame on Thunderfoot for something. You're saying, well, this is what happened, but I can't, I can't provide any evidence. You're making, you're how, making. How could I, Justin? Please tell me, how could I possibly do so? Well, you've got nothing to back up your story. Okay, don't answer my fucking question then. Be, be a disingenuous prick about it if you. Well, really he's want got to. a point. 
I mean, you're you're asking him like to make your argument for you. It sounds no, no, like. no. I'm not. I, well, no. My point is, I can't reveal that information. You know, I can't reveal. Now, you can take my word, or you can, or not, whatever. But all I'm saying is that that Thunderfoot demonstrably tried to take that business down. No, he didn't try to take that business. Whether it, whether it was on the brink of going well, on and by that, that exact same standard, then Laughing Witch, Bewildered Ape, Jenny McDermott, et al., who wrote these letters to try and actually, cause I, him I I'm wrong. did exactly the same thing. I mean, yeah. you, you can't split that hair. No, no, no. Well, before um, we get into that, I believe Jenny McDermott wasn't involved in the initial letter-writing campaign. Fine. Just for, for the record. But yeah, Bewildered Ape and Laughing Witch, although actually I believe it wasn't... Uh, um, they didn't write the same letter. I believe they wrote their own individual, um, their own individual letters. Yes, that's wrong. I'm not trying to deny that at all. But the point being, with uh, you, you say it's splitting airs, it's not at all because a, if Thunderfoot had gone unemployed, um, he he actually earns far far more from YouTube. So economically, he'd have been absolutely fine. So, so it's not it's not a matter of splitting hairs. He wasn't going to go fucking hungry. So you're making an argument... Actually, his channel probably would have increased because he'd have been able to make more fucking videos. So you're, may be, you're, you're making an argument from consequence. You're saying because yeah, of consequence... Yeah, it sounds like you're just... You're, you're just no, no, I'm saying it's wrong what they I mean, did. That, like, it's, wrong, it's, it's completely fucking wrong what they did. I'm not trying to defend what they did. <clears throat> Excuse me. What I'm saying, Thunderfoot would have been fine anyway, and it was unaffected by it. So why he decided to dredge all this back up was pathetic... Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta say one thing. This like, oh, it didn't work. It didn't have an effect. So, are we gonna let everybody who's committed uh, attempted arson, robbery, murder out of prison now? No, You're still culpable for your actions, whether not, it's successful or not. I'm sorry, I just had to make that. Point. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not suggesting that that um, laughing witch had to um, had to be. Uh, let off or whatever. Look, he could have made a series of videos saying she's the biggest bitch in the world. What he didn't have to do was try and take that business down. I'm getting echo, by the way, from somewhere. It's not me. I'm wearing a, a pair of headset. Yeah, me, me too. Headphones. Right. Well, okay. here's the thing. Yeah, but yeah, but he didn't have to reveal. But the difference the, uh, is the, the, that page bit. the, the difference is that, that Laughing Witch and whomever else wrote these letters took it upon themselves to write these letters. Thunderfoot didn't do any such thing. He made a video pointing out that this person tried to blow up his spot and failed spectacularly. And yeah, put a little but twilight zone reveal that, that, that illustrated his case. He didn't reveal the information. He included a clip of her video. I mean, that's how it's done in, in, in YouTube land. You you make a response. You include clips from of what yeah, you're responding but, to. But, so her Yelp page was in that video, was it? I don't recall exactly what no, it was from her I video. I can tell you it there. fucking wasn't. He put clips of that Yelp page and of her, um, by, of her, the company's website in that video, knowing full well. She, but he put a clip. Okay, but yes, he put a clip of that Yelp page up because it was referencing the fact that she was using her Laughing Witch account to give her own business reviews. Right. It's showing her to be dishonest in a certain way. It's that's a parallel well, point what he was making. Oh right, so the fact that. Oh, so it was just accidental. It was just an no, accidental. It was, it was, he intentionally was showing people. that she was being dishonest. I mean, is he not allowed to say those words? Is he not allowed to point out that she's dishonest? No, he can be. He can say she's dishonest, and just pointing out that she'd written a letter saying that he was a Nazi proves that point incredibly conclusively. But it's not Most your place to tell him what arguments he is and is not allowed to make. I mean, you're, no, you're, he can make whatever arguments he likes, but the consequences right. of that he knew full fucking well would be potentially devastating to that company. He and knew full he, well we, we could be much, potentially... I wonder what would happen. Like, that's the well. most easily way to put an accusation that I have ever heard. He, could, he knew full well it could potentially do something. Like, what the fuck does that even mean, man? He was yeah. well. Okay, I'll I'll put it more conclusively for you, right? Please. He knew exactly what was going to fucking happen. He did it because he wanted it to fucking happen. I don't know that he knew exactly what was going to fucking happen. I yeah. didn't know when I was watching that video. I was oh, like, yeah. ha ha, good oh, for you. Because he Roma. knows his for all four hundred thousand of his subscribers are really responsible people, doesn't he? He knows I that exactly. I, I had no interest in further pursuing that. I'm a subscriber. Yeah, I didn't do anything of okay, the sort. Yeah, yes. What about the other 300,000, uh, 399,999 others? 
Hey, Kevin, how about the people? Well, they would, they they would have right a right good right. laugh and move on with their lives. How, how do you even know these people were his subscribers? How do you know that? There's a lot of people. How, how, that do, watch I, how do I know that? Okay, right. Um, the day before he made that video, there weren't many negative reviews on that site. The day after, there were fucking hundreds. Okay, but maybe, how do you... Maybe how do you, it's a coincidence. Maybe it's a fucking coincidence, Justin. But, uh, or maybe again, these people uh, uh, who, who are... And what he's saying, and this is where what I was slowly trying to build towards, is the people who are taking it upon themselves to drop this information and take it to that level are not necessarily Thunderfoot's followers. They're just aware of the drama. They see an opportunity. They are aware of the fact that people you know, will support this action on some level because they, they see a, a parity and a certain balance in, in, on the scales of justice in so doing, and that's why they pursue that avenue. That is... That is yeah. pretend skepticism taken to the nth degree. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that's nonsense. just a that's a plausible that's a plausible option. It's plausible that none of them were. Thank you for admitting that it's plausible. I mean, that's all. Are, I'm are you saying it's plausible that none of those people were Thunderfoot subscribers? That none of those people? I. It's certainly possible. Do I think that it's it's likely? No. I, I'm sure some of them subscribed afterwards, at the very least. I mean, oh, the yeah, second no, they caught wind of this, channel sure. right, they look good. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and and for you know what I'm, and, and at that point, like, what does what does it actually mean to be a Thunderfoot subscriber? I mean, like, are you saying that just by clicking a button, you're suddenly enthralled by the man? No, right. but there are many that are, and there are many that are not. So you're saying the people that actually follow Thunderfoot and and subscribe to his quote ideology are the ones that are doing this, and maybe it's the people that follow it. Maybe it was Al Qaeda. Maybe Al Qaeda decided randomly to do it on that day. Maybe it was the fucking space Jews. Maybe it was Martians. No, it was Thunderfoot fucking followers. Whether whether they've clicked the subscribe button or not, I don't fucking care. He instigated this. Okay, let me let me give you a hypothetical. Hold on a second. Let me, let me give you give a fuck what was going to happen, or he wanted it to happen. Let me give Either you a hypothetical. A if if Thunderfoot put up a video where he's like, I hate kite tails. I think she's a stupid bitch, and I wish that my subscribers would go and just ruin her life. Do you think a lot of people would actually take up the banner on that, would, would actually, like, join the charge to go after her? Because, like, there's literally nothing she's ever done to even interact with, let alone offend Thunderfoot? Or do you think people would see that as, like, yeah, we're not your personal army? As, I think there are some trolling pricks as, going as on you with will it. see, is like the rallying cry on places like Baphomet and Kiwi Farms that they, you know, people try to utilize them in that way, try to turn them into like some sort of, you know, personal vendetta machine, and they take umbrage at that. That the reason why these people actually took it upon themselves to start, you know, pursuing the docks of these individuals and distributing them and trying to level the field in that way is because they saw that there had been an injustice done, and that's what motivated them. Not Thunderfoot, not that subscribe okay. button. Okay, well, why, why, well, actually, technically, I wasn't doxxed, but why was uh, a member of my family doxxed on the basis that, well, I, did I write the letter to him? No. Uh, you're, you're mirroring videos of talking about this shit. You're, you're supporting about people. Being, yeah, taking cocaine, right. yes, which, which he's done, yes. Uh, well, if you want to get into that, like, I, and, and so what? I've taken cocaine. What's, okay. what's, what's your point? Well, if he wants to be some sort of fucking fine moral arbiter, I would suggest that um, he, he needs to shape up a little bit. So you're saying that I can't, can't make any sort of moral judgments because I've taken cocaine? Are you a rape apologist? Have you, have According you been to a some, yes. Apologist? I, I don't think that one specifically has been leveled against me, but, you know, it's uh, the uh, years uh, early. Uh, baby, it's cold outside. <laughs> uh, baby, it's cold outside was rape apology, according to some. Yes. What's that? What? It's a long story. <laughs> um, okay. And very triggering for Grey Knight, so bring it yes. up early and often. And the thing is, you're talking about Thunderfoot using cocaine, but that's not what that video did. That video accused him of being a drug dealer, breaking the law. It wasn't just plain Well, taking cocaine, cocaine is breaking the law. No, not in the Czech Republic, it's not. Is, it, is, is, co is taking cocaine legal in the Czech Republic? Yes, it is, Kevin. Well, it's not here in Britain, that's certainly... Well, fine. But here you are accusing him of breaking the law, and you don't even know if he broke the law. 
Yeah, oh, sorry, I'm not a Czech lawyer. I do apologise. Okay. I mean, if people were, but, but, were but, laboring okay. under the assumption that I was a lawyer from the Czech Republic, I can dissuade them of that nonsense now. But, but even even if he's guilty of breaking law, using cocaine when he shouldn't be using cocaine, that, you, that video went beyond that and accused him of being a drug dealer. Did it? I'll have to rewatch that. I don't remember. Yeah, that go, go, yeah. Okay. If that's if that's Since true, we're that's kind of that's going right. off track. I'd no, like to ask Kevin a question. Do you support the war on drugs? Me? Yes. No, it's it's been counterproductive. Then why are you perpetuating it by trying to slag on someone for using recreational drugs? It's kind of an off no, no, base. No, no. It's an off base question a bit. I understand. It's, it's off base, but, and it's I think it's disingenuous in the sense that you don't have to be for the war on drugs to be against the use of drugs. So are, you, are you against the use of recreational drugs if an individual decides to do so? Well, I'm not saying that um, he should be put in jail forever or something, but I'm generally against the use of drugs, yes. I mean, I don't, if that's a controversial viewpoint, fine, but okay. Right. Well, I'll grant you that like, he's had a moral failing and that he's done so, you know, he's broken some law potentially by using cocaine, but again, so what? That has 100% of nothing to do with what we're talking about. Well, I didn't bring it up. Uh, well, why, did, well, why was it? Why, well, my question Hang on is, a second. in this didn't battle, you? why was it brought up? What relevance does it have? Justin, well, Justin brought it up. That yeah, the 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 no, 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 I'm talking about in, in the main, in the beginning, and I assume that this was Jenny that well, I was, posted I this joined, video. I, uh, my whole channel is I try and show that these anti-feminist people are not necessarily the fine moral arbiters that they show them, or they try and... Are you going to yeah. tell me people on the left don't do blow? That there's nobody on the no. left that, that no, indulges not... in recreational drug use? My, ch my channel isn't the only evil people exist are anti-feminists. Okay. But I'm not here why to is provide, it germane to I'm not anything. here to provide like, some sort of fucking absolute you know, 50-50 split, like, oh, I'll attack, only 50% of the people I attack are going to be right-wing, or anti-feminist, or whatever. And you can do the same on your fucking channel. So, you're saying that somebody doing blow in a recreational setting is some kind of moral failing, and that people should make a decision about their ideology, or what their positions are, politically? If that were his only moral failing, I wouldn't have a problem with the guy. But it isn't. Okay. All right. I'm just also, trying to get. I'm, I'm trying to get to the motive of why are you posting that in the first, but not you, but uh, yeah. you why is this being it. posted? Yes. Right. Why is it being? Posted well, in general, why these things are posted is, in a yeah. lot of senses, is because of uh, people. Who, there are lots of people on the outside who enjoy drama anyway. Like if if Thunderfoot broke wind, people, there would be trolls out there okay. saying, oh, you well, farts all the it time. It just kind of reminds me of negative campaigning in a political campaign. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. Oh, yeah, there's a little bit of that involved. I'm, I'm not going to pretend that I do absolutely fair and balanced material. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not holding you to that standard. I know yeah. you're partisan. I'm not, but I'm saying... But what does it we, really? What does it really illuminate in this in this ideological battle, or however you want to define it? Why you did it? I think it's just an attempt at, char at cheap character assassination. To, to, that to be find fair, from car yeah, this is Rovian politics. Yeah, I, I agree with you. But to be fair, like I, he, Kevin might have mirrored it, but I don't think this was originally Kevin's point. I believe this was originally raised by Jenny McDermott to ask him like why she would do that, like. He could guess. I, I could guess. You could general. guess. It's yeah, only well, our guess. Well, we got into the general topic because you know, and, it, and it's gone off track of why Thunderfoot. So I thought we should well, maybe yeah, explore can we move that. On from Thunderfoot. Well, I, I actually, yeah, uh, I would I like really to see, see that too. So. I, I think that you, you made a good point about it. You know, be, uh, resembling negative campaigning, and it really doesn't have anything to do with any sort of moral failing that Thunderfoot may or may not have with respect to like you know the the laughing witch case. Like whether or not he does blow, completely separate issue. But what um, I guess since since we're kind of coming to a, a bridge of sorts. Uh, I wanted to just bring up the what was mentioned earlier about Justin Templer leaving a quote unquote creepy voicemail. I, I found the file online thanks to uh, to our friend uh, Margaret Pless, and uh, so so this is this is the clip, and I'm gonna see if I can get it to play here. Uh, there are actually to... three clips, but yeah. Well, th this one's 30 seconds long, so let's... yeah, they're all they're all pretty short. Yeah, yeah let, let's let's just run through this and see what we got. 
Hi. Why are you acting like this? Just because John read the receipt wrong to you, you're gonna you're gonna act this way. Is this your way of getting out of your responsibilities? Is this the way you act? Amateur. Go sit under a tree. Goodbye. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna say first of all that doesn't sound like Justin at all. He has much yeah. deeper draw. Sounds yeah, like I'm, I'm going to reserve judgment on that, but I, yeah. I leave it to the, the, the listeners in the audience to decide for themselves whether or not they think that sounds like Justin Templer as, as he is here in this hangout. Yeah, that, he, I don't think it sounds anything like me. Do you, Kevin? Pardon? Does, do, does, that, does that voicemail sound like me in your own mind? You sound, you sound higher in pitch. Right. But that doesn't Mar make Mar Margaret, of... Margaret Pless is smearing me with a voicemail that she got from who knows where and saying this is evidence that Justin Templer did this and did that. Okay, it's, well... It's just plain old tab tabloid journal. See, that's this whole story, this whole narrative is built on a bunch of lies. And people no, just, Justin, even if that isn't you, even if that isn't you, and the odds, I'll say, oh, you've, you've been done wrong to, my man, right? The rest of the stuff that you do is creepy as shit. Well, you right, well let's, let's get back to that, Kevin. Like, what, what, let's leave the cocaine aside, leave Thunderfoot aside, leave the voicemail aside. Let's try and focus on creepy, creepy fucking Justin Templer. Here he is. Right. Go get him. Right. The... Why? Why is it relevant in the slightest that um, you know where her boyfriend lives? Why do you care that she's back from art shows at certain times of the day? Why would you be interested in that information remotely? Why is that relevant to anything other than possibly being some sort of crazy internet stalker, man? Why do you okay, care? Okay, let's let's start with those those first questions. Okay, so, well, well, we got we got two issues there. First is why would I look where her boyfriend was? Again, this goes back to her Yelp reviews. When she left her Yelp reviews and everyone was digging, I wanted to see what I could find. And when yeah, I just hey, now, now let me finish it, Kevin. Okay. Now I wanted to see what I could find. And when I found this stuff, what did I do? I got together with Agent of Down to warn her how easy it was to find her docs. This had nothing to do with doxing her. This was to warn her because I was concerned about her. You were asking earlier about what, how I would feel if she got raped or killed. Well, here I was showing concern for her and warning her how easy it was to find docs on her. And she turned that around and freaked out and decided that because I warned her, I was digging into her docs and I was going to dox her. And then she started accusing me. Now, I'm supposed to defend myself. Am Just, I? Am Justin, I? just a couple of points. Firstly, if you were concerned about her getting raped or killed, why did you refuse to answer earlier? Okay, and Kevin. secondly, I didn't ask you... L allow me to finish now, please. Uh, I didn't ask you how you got the docs. I'm asking you as to why you th would want that information anyway, if you're not the creepy stalker. If this whole narrative is a patchwork of lies, why the fuck would you even want that information? How could it possibly be relevant to anything? You want to know why? Because I yeah. was curious how easy it was. She's a public persona sticking her finger in the hornet's nest. People are talking about her online. I wanted just to see how easy it was. And when I found out how easy it was, we warned her. This had nothing to do with doxing her. You, you concern trolled her. I know that much, yes. I know absolutely that much. You call, uh, you, I'm, I'm, we, I'm, I'm, I'm showing concern for her, okay, and warning her, and you call it concern trolling. I'm actually because doing that's something what it is, to because, help her. Well, I asked you earlier a very simple fucking question whether you would be concerned as to uh, would you care whether she was raped or murdered, and you refused to answer. Yeah, so because I don't, I don't care. know. I, don't, I have to forgive me if I don't give you the benefit of the doubt when it comes to your fucking concern, Justin. Fine. I don't care if you believe me or not. I explained myself. The and the, the second point was the Wooly Art Show. The Wooly Bee Humble 
if that day Willie and Jenny got into a debate online and Jenny said, okay, fine, bitch, let's have a debate. Come on, bring it on. Let's have a debate. And then when Jenny or when Willie decided to bring it up and said, okay, let's, when are we going to do this? Then Jenny came up with this excuse, well, I have an art show to go to tonight. I won't be able to make it. So it was one of those things. So yeah, okay, I'm going to post a picture showing her art show. It was an excuse. She, she, first she said she was going to do this debate. And well, hang then, on. If, if there was an actual art show, how is it an excuse? If she's got an art show to go to. Because we wanted to see if it was just an excuse or if it really happened. And it was so it a, really happened, but yet you're still saying it was an excuse. Yes, it is an excuse because it was a local art show at her community college, and she was back in time to do the debate. She used the, she used the art show as an excuse not yeah, to do Justin, the debate. Yeah, but Justin, um, I'll tell you something about, and this is not doxing. I'm just going to tell you a piece of information about Jenny McDermott. She's not necessarily the most comfortable public speaker in the world. Yes, um, she doesn't enjoy particularly doing hangouts very often. Occasionally she will, but very rarely. I would be surprised if before doing any such debate she wouldn't want at least a couple of hours to prepare and to mentally set herself for this debate. Now she couldn't possibly have done that having gone to this fucking art show and you say at the local community college or whatever it's the college that she attends. Okay. Well hold so, on a second, hold on a second. I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to agree with what you're saying there that I, I've actually gone on to Wooly's show uh, where she... <laughs> About, I don't know, seven, eight, nine people, uh, you know, two, two doubling up on her microphone. I, I think it was, there was actually like close to a full house. Maybe I'm misremembering that, but she had several people there, and it was just me. And uh, yeah, it, it, I got dogpiled a little bit, but like I'm used to it. And I, I take that how you will. <laughs> and I, um, yeah, I, I just stuck with it, and I was able to, I think change a few minds while I was on that hangout. That is kind of a challenging thing to do if you're not used to going in and like be, being in the dog pile and, and fighting it out tooth and nail. Um, why didn't she just say that? She, she just said, look, I, I don't think I'm going to get a fair shake. I don't, I don't think that I would much rather have like a one-on-one -on -one in a controlled environment with well, a moderator I don't think, I, or I, I have, don't have something. But, but she didn't. What, where I'm going is she could have said that, but she didn't. She made up a lie, and if you're lying, I think that it's fair game for someone to whoa, 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 check whoa, whoa. in on your what lie. She, what she, lie, lied, told she lied about there being a time conflict with the, at the art show. If, if I'm understanding this correctly, she lied about the timing of the art show in order to have it appear that she had an, a legitimate excuse. Justin looked into that and used the information that he found to impeach her what she had said and, and thereby demonstrate it to be a lie. Well, I'm not. Well, unless unless Justin wants to correct me here, I don't think she actually lied about the time that the thing was happening, but the time that she would get back from it. I believe, on the it basis did, that she allowed herself more time than was necessary, if that makes sense. Kevin, Jenny was. Well, Jenny she did lie about how the timing would impact her ability to appear on the show. Well, no, it's a matter of she allowed herself more time. She didn't want to have to rush. Well, oh, potato, Kevin, potato, Kevin, please. Kevin, the, the the problem is, is Jenny was the one that proposed the debate in the first place. Now, if if Jenny needs two hours to prepare and she has an art show that night to go to, where she's not going to be available for that whatever amount of time, and she needs time to prepare, then why would she propose the debate in the first place? It was dishonest. Did she propose the, did she propose the debate for that specific day, or did yes, she, she just did? Say, yes, okay. she did. And then she okay. backed out when okay. Willie. When okay. Willie okay. Well, she when, when Willie took her up on it, that's when she came up with the excuse for the argument. As we, as we should all know, gentlemen, what, uh, one yes does not necessarily mean you have to you have a yes forever. Consent can be withdrawn. The very same day, Kevin, she knew that very same day she had an art show that night. But yet okay, she, well, let's, let's say she fucking shit herself and she didn't want to take part in it. So fucking what? So why wasn't she honest about it? Why that, that, that's so fucking what? Like, yeah, I mean, if, if she, she should have just said, I'm sorry, I, the thought of it just made me defecate in my pants. I, I, my, <laughs> yeah. my colon is spasming at the prospect of actually doing it live. I'm not showing up for this. <laughs> that would be an amazing message to receive. <laughs> my laundry budget would not possibly be able to sustain it. 
<laughs> Sorry about that. That 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 tickled me. That one. Um, yeah, no, absolutely. But I mean, for this, if if your her greatest crime is in order to protect her ego, she told a white lie about a fucking art show. I don't give a fuck. Is that does that make her evil? No. Well, I agree. It doesn't make her evil, but I don't think it makes him evil for like looking into it and being like, "This bullshit, bitch." Like yeah, it's, it's totally within. That's fair game at that point. Yeah, Jenny, Jenny started the whole thing in the first place. She said, "Hey, come on, bitch, let's do this thing. Let's do this she thing." And then, and then when Willie said, "Okay, let's do it," she says, "Oops, I have an art show to go to." So here is Jenny trying to be the big, strong person, and then when she gets called on it, she comes up with an excuse. Okay, so she. Okay, so she's a person that um, she backed out of a debate. So right. I'm and, docu and, docu and, and documenting that is wrong? No, it's not wrong, but it's just... Okay, it's you're criticizing creepy. me for it. It's, that's, it's that's creepy cr that you want all this private information about people. That's private it's information? That's a general point. That's I, I'm, private gonna, I'm sorry, well, I mean, I hate to, I mean, to editorialize, but like, I, I think just, that given the conversation we just had, I don't think you can say that that specific instance is an example of being creepy. He's impeaching someone who is apparently lying. Like, that's not creepy. That's kind of due diligence. Oh, yeah, he's a journalist. Justin's a journalist, absolutely. No one, you don't have to be a journalist uh, actually, to commit actually, an act of journalism. He's a, he's a partisan in one camp impugning the character of someone in the opposite camp. It's politics. It's, yeah. it's, it, it's ticky-tack, I'll, I'll admit, but that's politics, man. Like you I said, does it, does it this is very you, similar to what I've seen in campaigns, yes. Those little ticky-tack things can kill you. Dare I say it, Beach, does it remind you of negative campaigning at all? All the way around, just like I slagged on you. I'm saying it's yeah, the same you, thing with it. Let me yeah, tell you, and, you, I, and I said this in the comment, what I'm seeing here, I, I'm... I didn't mean to like slag on you because I'm trying not to take a side, but it reminds me of the Cold War when you had the Soviets in the Western Bloc and one side or the other gets caught doing espionage and the other side you know, clutches their pearls and talks about how awful it is when they're doing the same goddamn thing. And I well, think I'm, you, just you, you know, I'm, not, I'm not doing the same fucking thing. Go for it. Go on. Uh, well, well, well I already it. pointed out the whole, the, you know, like putting up the video about the cocaine thing. You're trying to slag on the character of Thunderfoot to bring him down a peg or two, I guess, in your mind, for for a moral failing to, to yeah, to, to maybe well, in I'm an not, attempt, I'm not, I'm not maybe in an attempt to influence his followers or or bystanders. That's politics. Justin's doing the same. I got that's the perfect example. You're saying, oh, it's creepy and everything. And okay, maybe it's got a little on the surface. It looks a little creepy, but in the context of you being partisans going at it, it really isn't. He's doing the same thing you did with the no. He's not radio. doing the same fucking thing. Yes, I, he is. A, doing the same. No, there's a difference he between caught, doing he something caught with his you. opponent in a lie and he exploited it. Okay, right, right. You caught you caught Thunderfoot in a moral failing mo uh, moment, and you exploited it. Yeah, but the point so, being, uh, the I point, don't no, the really think being, right, he's not. He's not. He's. I'm not revealing Thunderfoot's fucking home information. I'm We're not. not I'm, yeah, 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 hold up, hold up a house. second. Hold up a second. Let's not open I'm up not the feed. I'm not spreading. I'm not spreading. I'm talking about the specific I'm example. I'm not trying to conspire with hold, people. Hold on, Kevin. I'm using two specific examples from both camps. I'm just using this thing about the the, the art exhibit. The other yeah, stuff so just I'm, I'm, I'm doing I'm doing Soteris yeah. Parabis to make the point that you got two very partisan camps going at it and you got your sense of fair game, Justin has his sense of fair game, and you're both pretty much at the same level. Okay, no. so but I'm you know, but it's more. okay. Yeah, but it, it's kind of this. It's okay when we do it, and, and to and to be fair, it's not I've okay seen it when we do it. When have I ever said that? Using the video footage of of 
of Thunderfoot's cocaine use hmm. and catching Jenny in a lie. I'm sorry, they're equivalent in my mind's eye. Yeah, th those you're two catching people. Uh, senses, you're yeah. catching people at a if moment. Only, if there was and the you're exploiting it. Now I know. Yeah, we can go on from there. But I, I just want to say, just like my comparison with the two camps in the Cold War, or in a in a bitter campaign. So to to say that. On the surface, yeah, if you had no other context, it would be kind of creepy, the whole art thing. But in context of this duel to the death, I guess, he's going to look for a way to impugn his opponent's character. And he did so, just like you did with the cocaine video. So, even Stevens, really? I mean, maybe you see it as something different, but really from the outside and what I've seen and how people... Uh, I've been involved in some real bitter campaigns, so trust me. This this is pretty lightweight shit on the part of Justin. And, and it's lightweight on your part. I'm just saying it's, neg it's the equivalent of negative campaign. And what I'm trying to recognize is that... get you to recognize is that both of you have decided on a level of engagement. And that, and that goes to to uh, the making it personal and bringing this shit into real life. Yeah, but the, okay. the point being, you, if, if you want to cherry-pick those two incidences and call them equivalents, fine. Actually, it's the Terrace right. Parabis. I'm not saying it's in total. I was just using those yeah, two as an exactly, example yeah. for comparison. I'm not cherry-picking. Exactly. I'm not saying I, there isn't other shit going on, so I'm exactly, not cherry-picking. But, but, but we're not equivalents in general, Okay. Um, I would suggest that, given the screenshots, which I think we've all seen, but that if necessary, I'll post them again. Um, Justin has gone around conspiring to try and dox people, spreading personal information about people, cre creepy shit like let's say photographs of ex-boyfriends' drives from fucking Google Maps and stuff, like like some crazy fucking stalker shit. That's that's crazy. I don't give a fuck. I don't even give a fuck if it was being done. You mean like you mean like fight. Jenny posting um, JJ's personal videos that contain her real name? You mean like that? See, we can play her, this her game all day out. long. You can play, her name's like already I said, out there, mate. Like, oh, here we go. Oh, it's already out there. So why is she high? You made this same argument with with uh, Michael that you're highlighting. Those docs. Oh, they're already out there. See, you, he you're, uses you're, his real you're name. He doesn't like people using his real name. Uh, I'm Apparently. not talking about. I said what Michael did. I'm not talking about his situation. I'm talking about using that video of JJ's that did have her real name, had her friend's real name in it. So, if you're going to condemn one side, you need to look at yourself. That's why I compared it to like the Soviets and the Americans in the Cold War. Both of them were spying on each other and stealing each other's shit. But when one side gets caught, oh, they're yeah, spying! Okay that we were spying on them because we were that's, the good that's guys. That's my whole Peach. point. I'm, I'm we going to just leave guys. it. Well, exactly. We were the good guys. We were truth just... It, that's kind of my point. I'll just leave it there and let the conversation go okay, on. Okay, okay. The, 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 the biggest problem that I have with this whole thing is that what you're looking at were private communications. This was not public doxing of anybody. This was private communications. And how did you get that private communications? By hacking an email account. Oh, I didn't hack your fucking email account. Well, okay, you didn't. Fine. But you spread all this stuff. You're, you're spreading stolen emails, but you've got no problem with that. Yeah, this is not a court of law, mate. It's, it's not inadmissible evidence here, okay? You've been spreading people's fucking information. But I haven't two, been. Two people with big YouTube... Well, in our little corner, big YouTube channels, right? Right, fine. So they they, 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 Eventually, they, it made its way public. And so basically, have, you're yeah. even more cowardly than an actual no. fucking straight-up duxer would be. And, and how was it made public, Kevin? What do you mean, how was it made public? How was it made was public? What I passed duxer, along, how it was made public? Because of the hackers. Yeah. If the hackers hadn't got it, it would have never made it public. These are people that hacked into my email account. Agent of Doubt didn't hack into your email account. That's right, he didn't. But he still fucking released the information and of you, say, uh, saying here's her address. 
Right. You know, and, and that's that's one of the things that that's really. And you've already admitted earlier to sending um, Thunderfoot people's private yeah. information, knowing that he's released private information in the past. Yeah, in, in case he needed to get in contact with the police because of the crap. So you're, on you her. are you're a water carrier for people who ducks, and you think that makes you so no, well, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're accusing them of doxing. Now we're so, gonna go. We're gonna go. People in the past, yes, of course he fucking has. Huh? Thunderfoot okay. has ducked people in the past. That has well, happened. Well, you're going to get go back to the old history with the Dawa Films thing? No, not just that. There's the um, uh, private information from uh, Freethought Blogs. He did that. He, he no. used a fake account to hack in... To, to, fake uh, account? Gain he, he, to gain sorry. access to their uh, email list and release that information, didn't he? No, no. He was, he was on the back channel. He was a member of their... Yeah, but he used a fake account in order to gain access. Well, once he I don't, I don't know. I don't know all the details of that. I don't know what personal okay. information he released, Kevin. What personal I'll, information? I'll he... link you to a video by Matt Dillahunty, which explains it perfectly well. Okay, but did he actually release uh, personal details? Yes. People's home addresses. I don't know about personal home addresses, but I think he released email addresses off the top of my head. Email addresses? What uh, from Free Thought Blogs? I believe so. Yes. Okay, public addresses or what? I don't know. I I'll, I will look okay. through the video as we talk, okay. and I will put it in the chat. Um, the, we're talking about releasing our addresses. Talking about other people posting Jenny's address. Jenny was the one that went to Baphomet. Jenny was the one that posted her pictures and gave her home address to thousands of hackers that she was that were that she knows were trying to dox her. She gave it to him. She gift wrapped it to him. Her address is all over the place. You can go on uh, Baphomet and Kiwi and find it easily. What Agent O'Dot released is already out there, and he already described the reason why he did that. He didn't intentionally release her address. He told her either you retract your lies or I'm going to dump everything. And the reason for dumping everything was so that Jenny couldn't come back later and said, well, he, he withheld some information and in that information that with, he withheld is my doxing. So this way, everything's out there. He can't say anything is modified. Jenny can't lie and say, well, he held this back, so he held this other thing back too. So he just dumped everything. Okay, so he well, cleared just... his names. I've addressed I addressed that yesterday. If people want to go back and watch that, um, no, I know you addressed it yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah, I know you addressed it yesterday. I think he was justified. This way, it can't come back on him saying he held something back. Everything. No, but he can't all... be held against him that he's a duck, sir. No, he can't be held against him because he's a doctor. Ducks. That's happened. No, there. no, no. He, this the got put on. This this was Jenny's choice. That, not retracting the lies. She had a whole month to come back and retract her lies about Agent of Doubt, and he's just defending himself. He put so in a position. His, def his defense of not being a doxer was to dox. No, he and didn't dox her, though. We're going over old ground here, because, like right. I say, we did this discussion yeah. yesterday. And by yeah. the way, I'll put the um, link for uh, Grey Knight, I'll put the link to the video in question. Um, the, the, the Matt Delahunty explaining Thunderfoot's. Pretty sure. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm vaguely familiar with this video. It's been a few years since the incident, uh, but I'm, I'm reviewing it now off to the side, and this is light in evidence and very heavy in Matt Dillahunty's opinion, and as wonderful a person as Matt Dillahunty is, he's not like the Pope of Atheism. That no, we he's not the Pope of Atheism. bow our heads and accept his wisdom. Well, because he's, he's also he's... really good friends with P.Z. Myers, so I think he's actually pretty partial when it comes to judging this one. Yeah. Okay. He he married a feminist, so he he is. So whole... he's scum. Oh, no, he no. A feminist. Well, no, 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 no. Let's set that aside. Whatever. Like he can marry whoever the fuck he wants, and it's got 100 no. percent of nothing to do with the fact that he is friends with P.Z. Myers. P.Z. Myers was directly in conflict with Thunderfoot over this. He's taking his friend's side, and I'm not saying that that's even wrong. Loyalty is a nice thing to do, but. You need to take into that. It, you need to take that on board when you're and evaluating just a, his. And, and just as a side note, P. Z. Myers 
they were both friends long before the A plus bullshit and everything. So they had been long. Uh, Dillahunty and 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 uh, P Z Myers had a long association can just, before. Can any I just of say? Garbage. Oh sure, so, yeah, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They're, they're, they're good friends. Like, and he's just going to bat for his buddy. I have to, I have to say, underfoot's a piece of shit. <laughs> sorry, go ahead, Kevin. I'm sorry. Um, it. I don't want to be like a bitch about this, but it does appear that this is becoming a dog piling session. Um, and it's interesting to me, gentlemen, that uh, you're incredibly skeptical of any information against Thunderfoot to a fault, I would argue. Whereas, um, when whenever I've brought anything up. Um, or whenever uh, Justin has brought this nonsense about X, Y, and Z, you're more than happy to defend him. Well, it's sense. because Thunderfoot's not here to defend himself. So if uh, if if Thunderfoot is an advocate, I'll, I'll, ad I'll advocate for him because he's yeah, not here. Can I have a, a and, moment? And honestly, I, I, you should be keeping the focus of this on Justin and yourself. Like yes, that's thank really you. should be the focus. Justin keeps fucking can I say one? Can I say one thing? Don't include me in that, Kevin. I was making a remark on the actions being taken. The actors themselves are irrelevant. If you switched places, if you if you replaced Rebecca Watson with Thunderfoot, and it was somebody like Justin or somebody doing, I would say the exact same fucking thing. So give me a little credit on that, please. Okay, right, but we'll 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 try and keep our involvement to a minimum. You know, you guys. Well, to, please. to be honest with you, gentlemen, I, I'm um, I have to go in a moment anyway. So if we can keep it down to one last burst, as it were. Uh, the, I've, the, I've got to go. Please, the floor is is, is the the two of your you two gentlemen. Like, go ahead. Well, so, I'll be you know, this this is probably going to be it. So, you know, go for it. Well, I've still I've still yet to get I think a, a sufficient answer as to because I'm genuinely interested in why Justin uh, feels it necessary to engage in these kind of activities at all. I already explained the reason why I got involved. It was after her Yelp reviews, and I went to warn her. And as soon as I warned her, she started accusing me of doxing her, which I did not do. And the rea my reaction to her accusing me of doxing her was to defend myself. That's where it escalated. It started with her lie saying I was trying to dox her, and I was publicly going to re release her information. That information went to Jenny through AOD as a warning. It was also sent to Thunderfoot privately to defend himself in case he needed to contact the police so they would know how to find her. That was it. No so you doxing. Didn't, you, didn't, you didn't send it to Thunderfoot on the basis that you know he's released personal information in the past? No, I didn't send it on that basis. Okay. Well, I, I, put it to, I put it to the court of public opinion that that is bullshit. And what, what is Thunderfoot released? Anything? About Jenny McDermott, I'm not right. sure. Right, yeah, exactly. Oh, God. It's, it's <laughs> Michael Clifton Esquire. How are you, sir? I, I'm doing okay, but I, I heard something about a dog piling, so I came to Kevin's defense. <laughs> I, I'm on team uh, brown leather chairs right now. Okay. Uh, and I'd like to say that the, the term creepy is a subjective thing. Everyone feels it on their own. But uh, shortly after I said goodbye to Jenny for the umpteenth time, I found it creepy that people continued to send me information about her. And there was a point in all that was dumped that I stopped replying to anyone who sent me things about her. And I just you know, ignored and ignored. And at that point, you could tell where it was where I just kind of... I, I didn't respond anymore. Right. You know, and, and everyone can tell that. And that was the point where I felt it was creepy. So I just wanted to um, add to Kevin's accusation of creepiness, which I know everyone feels differently. But creepy, I felt it. I, I feel it like as soon as somebody bites your hand and says, you know, you're you're the one who's uh, doxing me, and you're you're concern trolling. As soon as they do that, stop looking. You know, as soon as soon as you hear the word concern troll, you should run the other way because that person's probably uh, not receptive to anything that you're going to say. You know, 
and that's why I said goodbye and shut up and I'm done with this and and the like multiple times. I understand okay. that. But but uh, other people don't have that, that same uh, sense of when things have started to get creepy. And that that's where my sense was. When I tell someone goodbye, I don't I don't uh, intend to get any more on the subject. I don't intend to be uh, talked about on the other end either. You know, the whole thing got creepy for me starting around November first. So, so I've, been, I've been in the creepy zone uh, in in the Kevin camp as far as feeling creepiness. So when you say that not all people have that same threshold or uh, sense of awareness of, of when they've crossed that line of creepiness, what you're suggesting is that anti-feminists all have Asperger's? <laughs> no, no. Sometimes it's a, a cultural thing, like uh, like I said yesterday about Americans liking Jerry Springer. You know, there are a lot of uh, people online who don't have YouTube channels but really love to hash over YouTube drama and trade little bits of information like playing cards and, and go on to sites like Fafa Men and Kiwi Farms. And those people don't have the same sense of creepiness that uh, most of the users on YouTube might have. Fair enough. Uh, either you two gentlemen, the 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 guests, special guests of the hour, would you have any response to that? I didn't see it as creepy. What I saw was my, me defending myself against being lied about. Like being it, creepy. Uh, no, defending myself. I don't consider defending myself being creepy. Well, no, but there are ways and means. You can skin a cat a million different ways, can't you? Right. Okay. Fine, Kevin. So yeah, you're, well, you're, I, you're. I think we leave it on that on that note, basically. All right. Well, I mean, just to maybe even put a a, a more substantial uh, bookend on this, uh, it's something kind of that that Agent of Doubt says in in all of his flagging videos, that there's 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 in, implicit rules for the way that you're supposed to act in a civilized place like YouTube. Now, if you if you want to make let's videos, not, let about, us not pre let us not pretend that YouTube is a civilized fucking. It place. should be. It should be, sure. and that's the problem. Like you, you suffered from this. I've suffered from this. People flag videos because they they just don't like to hear what you're saying, and they're not assholes. Yeah. Well, they're they're not willing or able to engage in discourse in the manner that you and I do, making videos, you know, doing hangouts, talking shit in the public sphere. So they they do this kind of under the table, you know, kind of below the belt fighting, right? Yeah. And and I think that this dock dropping, hacking, all this shit is it's wrong in the same way. It's not it's it's not a, a stand up fight. It's not actually like taking the accusation to the person, saying it to them, and listening to what they have to say in response. And that's the way that it really should be. And I think that the the sooner and and more directly we move away from that that way of engaging with people where the people are trading like little snippets of information about personal details like fucking trading cards and creating some sort of stockpile for what to do just in case and uh, I realize I'm probably going to be uh, contradicting everything I said with the, the idea of uh, the Tower of Babel backup plan here but honestly I, I think that it's enough is enough like there there's a there's a reason why you might want to do that but I, I think that as it stands, we've seen what happens when you follow that path, and it's it's ugly. I, I think that it's actually detracted from the, the discourse that's happened here on YouTube. I think it's had a chilling effect on the community. I think people are, are going to be afraid to join in if, you know, they're, they're, you know, smaller YouTubers or if they're just people who are, you know, anybody who's in our chat. I, I think that that's really the thing that's missing from YouTube. That go go even further back to another series that, that, that Michael did. You know, what's wrong with YouTube? How do we fix it? I've always thought that the answer to, to how to fix YouTube is just to have more people making more shit, and by having more people involved in the discourse, that would make it a, a much richer, much better community uh, with with more voices, offering more opinions, and, and a greater breadth of of uh, ideas that are out there for people to take in and, and enrich their own positions with. 
and we're we're depriving ourselves of that by by engaging in this petty bullshit. It scares people. Nobody wants to fucking hang out with us because like we're all these hacking, dry, docs dropping, like terrible petty children, and that needs to stop. And well we need said. to change the perception of that. Bra and bravo, we need to move forward. Well said. Thank you. And uh, I, I think for once, I'll take the last word on this one. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks for joining. Uh, I'm going to make sure that the the, uh, the underbar, the description box, is updated with everybody's Twitters and backup channels and shit so we can try and move forward from this. Uh, please do follow everybody if, if you're a fan of the show or even if you hate the show, especially if you hate the show. Follow everybody here because this this is this is how things happen on YouTube, and these are the people that are going to be engaged in actually trying to to broaden uh, the yes. discourse that's happening so, in the public sphere. One made a great comment. Was it um, not uh, uh, was it uh, not, not talking to people can't work, and whilst talking to people might not work, it's the only way it could. Well, Churchill said it best: better to talk talk than war war. Last. There you go, yeah. kids. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, again for watching. Have a good day, and we'll see you next time.